For the following exercises, describe how the graph of the function is a transformation of a graph of the original function f. Okay, we have two examples here. And it looks like they're basing it off of f of, ooh, oh boy. They're basing it off of f of x. So our original function was y equals f of x for both of them. But now the graph has transformed whether vertically or horizontally, and we have to figure it out. It's like putting a piece of the puzzle together. So to answer this question, you need to know two shifts, all right? You need to know how to identify a vertical shift or a horizontal shift. The, the easy method to notice what's going on is to look at the tips and tricks over here. The horizontal shifts are always going to be inside the function. Literally, you'll see a number inside the parentheses. So I'm going to just put that over here. If you're shifting right or left, these are your horizontal shifts. And as you can see, you're adding a number, regardless of what that number is, it's inside of the parentheses as opposed to your vertical shifts, which are numbers that are added or subtracted after the parenthesis, after the function. So those are your vertical shifts. They are added outside. So looks like we got a couple of things going on here, right? If my original function was y equals f of x, now it doesn't really matter what function you do or talk about first in this case, you could talk about vertical shifts and horizontal shifts at the same time. It doesn't matter uh, which one you say first. I like to do parent like inside the parentheses and then I work my way out, but it really doesn't matter. So the first thing I'm going to tackle is what the heck is going on in here. So y equals f of x minus 2. This minus 2 changed the actual function. And if we can just memorize the difference between all four of these, you would know that a negative inside the parentheses is a right shift. You shift it to the right. So in this case, the first thing that we have to address is we shifted to the right two units. Okay, so. So that's one shift. But now we have to address the other thing. The other thing is a plus three on the outside. So y equals f of x minus two plus three. What does this mean now? This is outside of the function and that's your vertical shifts. Plus means shift up. So you sh also shifted up three units as well. So there are two shifts here. So let's draw a picture. Let's say what, what is going on, you know, visually. Let's say that our graph was this, a nice graph. You need to do these two shifts basically at the same time to get your answer. So, Let's work with the right shift first. What this graph did was it shifted over to the right, which is this way, two units. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, and you know what, I can actually copy it. Look at that. And maybe I will change the color just so that we save a little bit of time here, and I'll make it blue. So now here's my original function, right? I just need to shift over two units, one, two. And now what do I have to do? I have to go up three units. One, two, three. And there you go. This would be the old function. And this is your new function. This is this function. That's it. So for your explanation, you just have to describe it. So all you have to write down is, you know, you shifted to the right two units and then you shifted up three units, but that's it. Next one, f, um, we have y equals f of x plus six and then a minus one. So let's see, 
y equals f of x plus 4. Oh, did I say f plus 6? I'm sorry. I meant x plus 4. <laughs> so this is on the inside, right? This plus 4 is inside the parentheses. That is a horizontal shift. It's a plus, and a plus means shift to the left. So we know that we had to shift to the left four units shift. Okay, that's our first shift. That covers the plus four. Now we just got to take it a step further. What is the minus one at the end mean? This is outside of the function. And those are vertical shifts over here. If you're minusing by a number on the outside, it's a down shift. So you also had to shift down by one unit. And there you go. These are your two shifts. So when you're describing it, you know, when you got to answer the question, you just got to put it, you know, you just got to put these two things in your answer. But now let's just visualize it. Let's see. I did a little parabola there. Let's, let's maybe do this function. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to copy and paste. Look at that. And I'm going to change the color. Let's make it I don't know, black. Okay, so here's my original function. I have to shift to the left four units. So, one, two, three, four, and then I shift downward. So that's one, something like that. And there you go. Doesn't matter whether you do a left or right shift first or an up or down shift first, you will get to the same answer. And that's it. You shifted to the left four times and you shifted down one time. So this would be your old function. And this is your new function. This is the one that looks like this. And there you go. That's it. These are your two answers. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully this, this helped you a lot. And if you want to do us a favor, please hit the subscribe button. Pretty please. Thank you so much. That will help us out. Uh, we're just trying to get to as many people as we can that needs math help. Uh, we also have physics videos and chem videos for you guys. So check out the channel if you are in more subjects that we offer at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.